are on location for this week's Ask Ron at the Quick Start Real Estate School in Dallas, Texas. The big state of Texas we are. Standing are you... out in front of the hotel where the boot camp is going on. Nikki and I are on our break. And uh, the wolves are in there calling live sellers. And the reason I'm standing here because this is where last night I got picked up in an ambulance for the first time in my life, taken to the hospital. I had a little heart fibrillation going on and I didn't know it. I was getting dizzy and so forth, so I spent all night in the hospital getting checked out. Came out this morning and in the middle of the day started teaching again here, so just in case anybody told you I'm dead yet, I'm not dead yet. I'm still kicking and I'm fine, so don't let the rumor spread. All right, Nikki, what are we... Okay, that's taken care of. The first question is from Rollins in Florida. Rollins. And he asks, I was wondering if there is a way to automate the process so that it can be done from anywhere and around the country as I really don't want to go to someone's house. Process of what, though, Rollins? You didn't answer that question. Anything can be automated. Now, I spent the last three days in a group, a mastermind group that I'm a part of, in a room full of a bunch of people that do wholesale deals and frankly half the room do 150 deals or more a year and you know that's got to be automated and most of them are not in the city where they live. It's all done virtually. That definitely can be automated. So if you're talking about the pretty house business, it already is automated, but somebody's got to go to the house and talk to the seller and get on the phone with them. So if that, if that somebody's not you, then you just have to get somebody else to do it for you. So yeah, everything is automated. I'd expect you to be automated. But you gotta come learn the system and then go home and put it to work and then add as you need added. If you wanna grow, you're gonna have to have a system. Okay, Rollins has a second question. All right. How do I take over a note with no bank, no credit, none of my money? Am I using the payments made to me to pay the bank note that is owed on the house? What guarantees the pay month to month? And what about HOA fees and who pays those? Roland, I don't know what you're talking about. How do you take over a note? Is that what it says? Yes. I don't know what you mean. Unless you're talking about the seller's loan to the bank. Okay. That can be done either subject to or you buy it with a wraparound mortgage. And if you don't understand that, there's lessons on the Go Club site. I'm not going to deal with that here. You need to come get trained, man, because these questions are all answered in your training. Into this boot camp, wherever it is you can get to it as fast as you can get to it. And by the way, everybody's here. The coronavirus virus has not kept anybody away. And um, we just we just deal with it and we show up and we, and we wash <laughs> our hands a lot and we don't shake hands. No. We, we bump elbows. Yep, we don't get close to each other. Okay, this is from Toby in California. Toby? I have a question on structuring a deal, and here is an example. The ARV is five hundred thousand. Yep. The mortgage is four hundred thousand. Yep. The purchase price is four hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. How do you structure a deal to ensure your monthly payment to the seller goes towards the overall purchase price? For example. Do you write in the contract that you owe the seller the 50000 minus the mortgage amount at the time of payoff? Again, these are all the things you learn. You're trying to learn the business without coming to learn the business. And that's, that's a question that takes a while to answer. But it, it, I don't structure the deal. We ask the sellers what they want and they make us offers. So we've got to get that straight first. And of course, anytime. I make a payment on a seller's note, it's going to pay down that note. I'm automatically going to get credit for that. So I'm not sure what you're confused about in that process. I'm paying the bank directly most of the time. I get the debt pay down, the seller does not get it. Okay. I don't know if that was the question or not. But right. I'm sure Toby will be calling our office to get to the next Quick Start Real Estate Come School. Come on, man. Get, let's do it. Okay. Steve in Illinois is asking. Legal ownership changes hands, even if the title doesn't when dealing with a land contract, correct? Correct. Sell on a land contract, that person owns that house, even though the deed's staying in your name. Okay. William in Virginia has the next question. Uh -huh. 
I have found that many of my Fizbo's have been getting calls from multiple investors such as myself. Mm -hmm. Do we have a way to give ourselves a competitive advantage over the competition? Yes, you can target more targeted prospects. There's a whole list of these things. I just got through that, I swear. I just got through with that session inside. There's two things you got to do. You got to crack the code on the call, but you also got to work to get more quality prospects coming into the loop. And then we furnish you, because all the prospects we furnish you on the Go Club are on the web. They list them on the internet. They're the lowest common denominator. We do deals with them everywhere we go. I already got three or four here today. But the more targeted prospects you get, and there's a whole ton of ways you can do that. Uh, you should be running ads for one thing. Anything you can do to get people to call you is a way more targeted prospect than when, you're, when we're chasing them down. So that list is about that long, including yellow letters and uh, signs and ads and Facebook ads and free ads and cars wrapped cars wrapped and road signs and all kinds of stuff okay the next question is from Steve in Arizona uh -huh. how can you not personally guarantee to a private lender uh, because most private lenders that are real private lenders and not loan sharks don't even know what a personal guarantee is and don't ask for one if your loan to value ratio is low enough they shouldn't need a personal guarantee and if you, so if you if you're getting a person if you ask you ask for a personal guarantee you're dealing with a person that's in the mortgage business and that's not what we call private money that's hard money yeah. if you're not making the rules you're borrowing hard money if you're making the rules you're borrowing private money one of those rules is we don't guarantee debt and the truth is borrow from humans individuals they won't be asking to guarantee the debt by the way if they ask you to guarantee the debt tell them no we don't guarantee debt say no Steve that's why you got all the equity above the loan. Okay, Steve has the final question. Okay. Who, what, who or what was the seminar you first attended? I attended a seminar on March 12, 1982 that was sponsored and promoted by Robert Allen and taught by Carlton Sheets. <laughs> he was the two-hour preview speaker. Then he put me in a two-day seminar taught by Richard Powelson, which is then both of those guys are actually gone now. So there you go. You asked me a question nobody's asked me before that I can recall. And that concludes this week's Ask Ron on location in Dallas, Texas. See you next week. Oh, in case you get this and you haven't been notified by us yet, the summit has been canceled. We had no choice with the virus going around, uh, people canceling right and left. We just had them. So if you, you didn't get the message yet, you should have got an email. But if you didn't, cancel your plane fare, cancel your hotel. We'll do it again in September. We're going to probably move it to Orlando at that time. A whole, whole different event, actually. A lot of cool things we're going to do, but uh, we just had no choice because we could not hold it in Vegas. In fact, practically everything else in Vegas is canceled mm -hmm. as well. See you next week.